been a hectic week for movie news and movie trailers and all things movie these past couple of weeks. Suicide Squad just been announced, the cast for that, that's crazy. I kind of have a mixed opinions about that, not enough to do a video, but this is why I'm doing this. Also, a new trailer for Terminator Genesis or Genesis, however you pronounce it, maybe it's Genesec, you know, the Pokemon Genesec. You don't know who Genesec is, you don't play Pokemon, well. It's kind of awkward. Got done watching the new trailer and everything, and I don't have that much to say about the trailer other than that it looks like an interesting Terminator movie that's coming next summer, and it looks kind of okay. I have more thoughts on my questions about the trailer than uh, the actual trailer itself. Uh, but there are things in the trailer, in the context of the trailer, that's got my brain like, going like, I need these questions answered. That's why I'm doing this video for you viewers. I want you viewers to talk to me and let's get me up to speed on this Terminator thing. There's some, I got some questions about this stuff, so let me talk about it. First off in the trailer, pretty much the trailer starts off with John Connor. It's the war, it's the future and everything. John Connor's like, I'm gonna send you, Kyle Reese, you know, the guy from Terminator 1. I'm gonna send you back in time, the 80s, to go protect my mother from another Terminator. And right then and there, I'm like, okay, pretty much Harkinson back to the same plot, Terminator 1. Send Kyle Reese back through time, protect her from Jonas Borsonator and shit. Keep Sarah Connor alive so she can keep John Connor alive, and then, yeah, machines don't win. So John Connor ends up sending Kyle Reese back in time to the 80s, I guess. The time period with Terminator 1 started, but then the gas trucks, boom, comes to the department store. It's Sarah Connor. She's all like, come with me if you want to live now, soldier. Right there, I was like, whoa, right there, right there. That makes you be like, whoa, wait a minute. What? Sarah Connor? Sarah Connor? If you remember Terminator 1, Sarah Connor, she was a Susie nobody. She was just, she was, she was not the Sarah Connor badass she was a Terminator 2. So why is she this badass a Terminator 5? I know enough about time travel and everything, but it's just like, uh, my brain starts thinking. I watch the trailer, I'm just like, it seems like these things intersect with these and that can't make sense. And I don't know. There was a point in the movie where Sarah Connor was like, oh, the time period that John sent you to, it doesn't exist anymore. This is something new. So what happened to you, Sarah Connor, that instantly put you on this new path and what's make the old path doesn't exist anymore? I think one of the most coolest things and one of the most interesting things and makes it one of the most confusing things is that there's a part in the trailer when, when Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know Arnold Schwarzenegger from the original Terminator, ends up meeting current, I guess, current Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator. I guess the two T-800s meet each other and one, one Arnold blows CGI Arnold away and shit. He just blows him up. So it's just like, oh yeah, that Terminator that John sent you back to protect me from, we took care of it. Right there, you're like, what? That was nowhere in Terminator 1. But you gotta remember, there's a new timeline. It was just like, well, how does new timeline, uh, how does a new timeline happen? I don't know. I know the simple answer is just watch the movie. Watch the fucking movie, and then all your questions will be answered. That's true, but I need my questions answered now a little bit, because that's my curiosity. And you, the fans, know this shit more than I do. So you can put it in the comment section and let me know. The actor that's playing the T-1000, you know, the liquid metal guy. I think dude in Terminator 2 played him. He was so like, I don't know. There was something about him. He was just perfect. He was the perfect killing machine. He just presented the look the look this other dude he, he reminds me of kato from green hornet i'm just like ah you're a liquid metal guy t1000 but i'm just not you're not presenting that menacing look i don't know i just feel like you're a guy that ah, uh, you could just turn his hands into knives and stab weapons and just you know do that shit you know who would have been the perfect part for this you know been the perfect part michael fossbender from x-men days of future past imagine him at t1000 you know, the reason why i say him because you remember in dex man days of future past you know that scene when they're on the plane and shit and he was just real intense he was all like you abandoned us charles you abandoned us when we needed you the most he presents that like level of threateningness that's just like oh okay i don't want to get him i don't want to get him upset if he's not ripping the metal out of my body he's going to send the metal from his hands into my skull and shit yeah you remember that part from terminator 2 you remember another big question it might be the biggest question of all that there's a scene in this trailer of which it seems like on sports and never has a bazooka and he's holding young Sarah Connor, like a kid Sarah Connor. That makes my brain think, like, how did T-800 get all the way sent back in time to when Sarah Connor was a kid? Was he always there? And like I said, he was not there in the original Terminator. So it's just, like I said, it's a new timeline, but it's just, like, not clearly explained. It's all speculation. That's why I say it's all speculation. I don't know. I'm going to kind of break it down to you like this. This is how I think I see it. And if I'm wrong or if I'm right or whatever, put it in the comment section. Let me know. This is what I think about it. John Connor, Terminator 5, ends up sending Kyle Reese Terminator 1 timeline instead of protect Sarah Connor in the 80s. Kyle Reese ends up being in a new timeline still in the 80s that kind of coexists with Terminator 1. Why this is because the Terminator did go into the 80s to kill Sarah Connor, but they already took care of that Terminator. The liquid metal guys in this movie, what if the machines sent back T with the T-1000 even further? Not only one back to the 90s to take care of John Connor when he was a kid, but also one back to the 80s to take care of Sarah Connor when she was a young adult. What if they sent back two machines, like one in the 90s and one in the 80s they sent back two machines they sent the t-800 just to make sure to kill sarah Connor. just get t-800 couldn't do it they sent back t-1000 to also do it but it seems like overkill at that point my only thing i can come up with is that i think something happened 
in Sarah Connor's childhood, and something new happened in her childhood, which puts her on this new path to be a badass of shit now in this movie. You realize she didn't become a badass until the events of Terminator 2, when Kyle Reese told her about the future and everything in Terminator 1, and what made her all badass of shit in Terminator 2. But it seems like she's already a badass now in Terminator 1, which she wasn't until Terminator 2. Dude, so it's like, what happened? Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 2 go back further in time in Terminator 1 and tell Sarah Connor, like, yeah, Judgment Day's gonna happen, the machines are gonna take over and shit. Yeah, I'm here to protect you. Dude, so since from a kid up until when she was a young adult, she just Bob and I are just being all bad as it is. That's why she's effective word. She just was like, ah, I know Kyle Reese is coming. Maybe that's what didn't. Maybe that's what Orange Boss on there thinks. Yeah, Kyle Reese is coming. I just been waiting for this thing. Remember, he told the other T eight hundred. I don't know. My brain is just like, I, I, it's hard for me to process this movie because it's too much time travel and shit. And it's just like, if it's not clearly explained to me, I'm gonna have questions. And that's why I do videos. You know, clap questions and I hope you can answer them. Yeah, but whatever your thoughts about Terminator 5 for me, please break it down with me because I did shit. I need to explain to me. I need this shit explained. So put it in the comment box, guys. We'll talk about Terminator 5. Terminator looks pretty good and shit. I, I'll check the movie out when it comes out. And I hope you will too. So remember, guys, subscribe until next time.